Hey guys, Javin here. Welcome back to another link building video from Rankovers. And in today's video, I will be basically showing you my step-by-step -step process on how I create high quality backlinks in a genuine and manual outreach method through email. And the only tool I'll be using is Ahref and everything else will be done manually through my email, so through my Gmail. Okay, so let me start. So first off, let me just say that backlinks are not for every single website. It really depends on the type of keyword you want to go for and how old your domain is. So for new websites, you want to lay off on the backlink side of things. You want to really be pumping up more content on your website. And the example I'm giving you today is a cooking website. So for example, if you are just starting a cooking website, you really want to do some keyword research first, try to target more informational keywords on your website so that you can start ranking from them and getting more organic traffic. For example, can you put styrofoam in the microwave? What is a simmer? You know, what temperature is simmer? More examples here, um, you know, Dean and White cookware, pedal attachment, air fryer, popcorn. There's so many uh, websites you can do keyword research from. And this is why I like Ahref because once you put a domain to look at, you can look at their competing domains. And these are all websites you can gain keyword ideas from. Start creating content for each keyword. So for example, you know, stove burner, you can create one article for that. Um, what else? Burner stove, another article accidentally left gas, gas stove on without flame. All these are separate articles. And once you start ranking for them, this is when you can start pumping more backlinks to your site to try to get them on page one. So essentially what I do is I will create something like this. And you can basically do anything you want in terms of the email. You know, this is just something I wrote just now. And to get the backlinks, and uh, what you want to do is you can go on the backlink side of things. So over here, I will go to the backlink profile, open a new tab, wait for it to load. And I will only be filtering for do follow backlinks. Okay, filter that and one link per domain, simply because you do not want to be sending the same email to the same domain multiple times. What you want to do is send one email only. And if you, they do not respond, you can send another email maybe after a week or two weeks. And keep in mind that all these emails that you're sending, you are expecting to pay them for a backlink. And the reason for this is because all websites know that backlinks are valuable. So there's really no incentive for them to link to you for free because just think about it. If, you know, for example, a domain rating website of 80 uh, and you want them to link to your domain rating website, a brand new website, there's zero incentive for them to link to you other than monetary value. So if you offer them or $80, $100, they will be more willing to link to you. Okay. Okay, so usually I filter, like once again, do follow backlinks, look at one link per domain. You can even filter last seven days, or if you have a specific number of competitors that you look at, you can do this once a week. So you can be on top of whatever backlinks they built. And here I go through the process. So usually I look at websites that are more professional looking. So this one, this one has like a kitchen keyword on its domain name. So let me open that. And yeah, basically go down the list and you can open a couple. And once you do that, you can go again to the website that's linking to your competitor. And usually what I like to do is I like to comment F and then find the contact section, a contact and the API for this website. I will go to the contact page 
And let's see to, if I can find an email, comment F. Let's see if I can find nothing here. Please use the contact form. So essentially every time I'm sending an email, it's all manual outreach. I do not have a backlink list that you, know, you can buy from. Everything is done manually. So in this case, there is no, um, what do you call it? There's no email. So what I can do is write my name, email, subject, message, and send the email from here. Next one here, you can see, let's see here. Do the same thing to find the contact section here. And let's see. So here I can see that there's two emails. So what I usually do, so I'll copy this. copy the email, go back to my Gmail, and then paste the contact information here. And usually I like to copy my message again. I'll send this out to this person. Oops. Um, Okay, so I'm sending, sending this out, copy, paste. And the subject line, you can basically do anything you want, but you know you can even say hello, as a subject line. The, the key is to find a subject line that makes them want to open. So, you know, something like even uh, block requests or something. Yeah, make up your creative juice and write something professional. So yeah, um, let me go back. Let me open this now. Open an another one. And the reason why I like doing this method where I'm essentially looking at the competitors in the same niche or industry as I am. So for this example, it's in the cooking industry is because all these websites are already linking to your competitors. So it's, a pretty high chance that they will also link to you as long as you pay them the link placement fee that they are looking for. Okay. Once again, look at the contact us I'm going there now. Copy the email, go back and send. Okay. Once I do that, Make a new email. Okay, let me do a couple more just to show you the idea here. There is no shortcuts to getting backlinks, guys. So everything is done in a slow manner. And really, you do not even want to be building hundreds of backlinks per month unless you're already, already a huge website. More often than not, if you're a small to medium website, I would say 10 to 30 quality links per month is more than enough. Just so you know. Okay, there's no contact us form. Let's see if I can find anything in there about a section. Uh, nope, nothing here. Nope. Okay going down the list. So yeah, basically do this the same thing. If you want to look at another competitor, let's say, let's say this one here, cook streams, same thing. I'm looking at their backlink profile. Once again, do follow only. And the reason why you want to only filter for do follow backlinks is because that do follow backlinks are what will pass on the link authority or the, it's called the link juice uh, over to your website. Whereas no follow links do not do any of that. It's more for just exposure. So if you're essentially gonna pay for a backlink, you want to have do follow links. Once again, I filter 
one link per domain the last 30 days and by domain rating. So Pinterest, I don't want to be emailing them. And yeah, you can just kind of eyeball it to see what kind of valuable websites you can do the email outreach for. All Pinterest seems like, let me go down the list, daily meal. Okay. Open that. Tastingtable.com. Okay. Let's do one more independent.com. Okay. All right. So let's wait for it to load. Contact us. As for the backlink type, I usually like to have do follow backlinks as link insertions. And what I mean by this is that I want this website owner here to be placing my link on an existing page on their website. So a page like this is really good because it's talking about food. And if I have an article on my cooking website about belly flop, sorry, not belly files, French onion. So if I have an article talking about French onion, I can put a link here to my French onion article or even to my homepage as a branded anchor text. So a lot of options there and you do not need to, you know, write a brand new article for the website, but you can also do that if you want. And that's called guest posting. Okay. So I'm doing this here. So press send and essentially you don't even need to send a long ass email like that because um, you're paying for them anyway. Right? So let's see here. You can do something simple such as I was wondering how much you charge for a backlink interested to get a link from your site to my cooking related blog. Thanks. So something easy like that is fine. And then they will most likely reply you with how much they charge. And then you can go from there to negotiate the best price. So let me find another one here. Yeah, some websites do not have easy access to their contact us section. So you probably have to dig through the about us section or privacy policy, something like that. Okay, here. And about uh, getting a, a link from you, something like that. And if you want, you can also contact all the editors to get a higher chance to get a backlink. Yeah, it all depends on yourself, but usually I just contact this first, see what they say, see if the pricing is right. And once they respond, I usually, again, go to href to see how many organic traffic this website is getting per month and what is their domain rating again, just to see if it's worth it to pay the price for the link some people ask to for too much money. Okay. Let me do one final one here. And look at that. It seems to be the same format for the website. So it most likely this is uh, either the same owner for the website or they're using the same theme. Okay. So that's basically what I do. Send out the emails and wait for them to respond. So once they respond, you can talk about pricing. You can choose an article on their website to get a link insertion, or if they offer guest posting, you can decide for yourself whether or not that is feasible or worth it for you to write a brand new article for them, essentially. And let's say, for example, this website has responded to you. What I like to do is look at their website on uh, Google here. So let me see here. I'll copy paste their website. And then what I'd like to do is filter for whatever keyword I want to rank for. So let's say, you know, French onion again, as an example, let's say I want to be ranking for French onions. I can take a look at this website here to see what keywords they're ranking for. So French onion chicken, crock pot, French onion soup. 
And this will be an ideal article to link back to your website talking about French onion. And usually more emphasis has to be placed on the top of the article. You do not want any backlinks from the sidebar, the footer links or anything like that. So if they do allow link insertions and you want to be ranking higher for a French onion keyword, what I like to do is something like this. So this person did it well, you know, very well fits experts. Let's see. So this is in another website. So for example, if your cooking website is called uh, thebestcookingsite.com, you can say something like, um, before getting into the details of how to master this French onion chicken bake, uh, the best cooking site.com also has something, something, blah, blah, blah. Basically try to insert your link as naturally as possible in the website so that Google sees you as trustworthy and they will rank your um, keyword higher. Okay. And yeah, once again, just to remind everyone that backlinks is not worth it if you do not have a lot of content on your website. So for example, this website here is ranking for a bunch of keywords. Uh, if they're stuck on, you know, position 50, 40, or 30, essentially page two or beyond, you can use backlinks to help push it higher on the page. And what I mean by this is that this example here, what is a simmer? It is a 33 keyword difficulty with 5,800 keyword volume every single month. So the estimation here is about 41 websites to link to you to even rank in the top 10 for this keyword in the United States. And looking further into the analysis, you can see that the top 10 ranking websites all have really high domain ratings with the exception of this one here, Sizzle and Seer.com. It has a domain rating of 26. So essentially what I'm trying to say is that if you're a brand new website with zero domain rating, you know, you only have five articles on your website. It's really hard for you to rank for a keyword like this, considering the competition, because why would, Google, why would Google rank you on page one when there are more trusted websites in the cooking space ranking already? So the key here is to try to find keywords, easier keywords for you to rank first. And usually, again, what you can do is look at up to keyword difficulty of five, volume, maybe minimum 50, just so that you know, you're targeting keywords that have search volume every single month. So this is my recommendation if you're a new website and you want to start a cooking website. Um, you can see all these opportunities here. Microwave safe symbol. Can you put, can you microwave paper plates? So just taking a look at all these keywords, it's really easy to rank for with minimal backlinks. So here you only need roughly four websites to link to you in order to rank in the top 10. And you can get almost 5,000 search volume. So create as many articles as possible. You know, how many, how much does a chicken breast weigh, egg rings, you know, dishwasher cabinet. There's so many articles that you can potentially rank for. Same thing here. You can look at another website, search up to keyword difficulty of five volume, once again, 50. Then you can get ideas on what keyword to rank for. You can see there's almost 8,000 keywords that you, you can rank for without any backlinks required. And you can even filter through word count. So how many words they are. So usually long tail keywords, four or more keywords, it's much easier to rank for such as how much does a gallon of milk weigh? So if you write an article like this, it's really easy to rank for after a couple of months, you know, you cannot expect to rank on page one in just 30 days, you know, what you should do is write as many articles as possible without diluting its quality, post it on your website without any expectations and wait anywhere from six to eight months, come back to your website and you can see that there will be traffic growth organically. And also keep in mind that for every article you post, you want to be linking within that article towards other articles on your website because internal links is also very important. Okay. Another example here is what is, uh, can you microwave what other? Yeah, this one is another example, best microwave 2022. So this is a more transactional keyword. And if you can rank on page one for this, 
people are most likely ready to buy. So they're looking for the best microwave. And for this keyword, it's really hard to rank for. You need about 91 websites to link to you. So 91 backlinks. And again, looking at the competition, you can see all the high authority websites ranking for this term. So it's just not easy to break to page one for this keyword in particular. But the best thing you can do also, if let's say you have a medium authority website that it's around you know, a domain rating of 50 or 40, what you can do is open all the backlinks from the top ranking keywords, you know, like Tom's Guide, Food and Wine. So what I do is I look at the domains. So all the domains linking to this website, all the domains linking to this website. And these are the, the backlinks that's essentially making them rank on page one for this keyword. So you can see all these high authority websites. And once again, you can go through the same process of clicking this open, looking at their contact us for information, sending them an email, asking how much it is to get a backlink from them. Obviously, some websites will be harder to get links from, like Yahoo, you know, Wikipedia, MSN. The spruce.com, maybe this is possible. If you get something like this, it's really good. DR of 90. So essentially, this is the process, guys. So before you even do backlinks in the first place, you want to make sure that you have enough content on your website. So post as much content as possible before even considering backlinks. That's essentially the video, guys. Um, the emails might come tomorrow or a couple of days, but usually I like to send anywhere from one to 200 emails per day. And the emails that come back could be less than 10% even because a lot of these website owners get a ton of, of emails per day. So they might not even get back to you. So if you want to consider Rankovers, we are well-versed in the art of link building. You can take a look at my website here and you can see the fully managed SEO section. And essentially, yeah, just contact us if you have any questions. I do have a service where I'm charging just for the hours spent to do the manual outreach all in a genuine method. And all you have to do is pay for my time plus pay for the link insertion on the website owner's website. So in that way, you're not paying the middleman fee where you're paying more, much more money um, for the backlink. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I, I'm not sure how long this video is, but if you watch it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Let me know how you, much you enjoy this video and if I should do more of them. Till next time, I hope that you have a great day. And this is Javen Fong signing off.